This is the second part of Article 1 in which we define the scriptures. We say, these scriptures in the English tongue are those translated from the received or majority text, and that the untranslated words in the authorised King James Version of the Bible may be identified and corrected. That the whole canon of scripture, that is, the 66 books consisting of 39 books of the Old Testament, known as the Law and the Prophets by Jesus and his Apostles, and those scriptures foretold the first coming into the world of the promised Messiah, that is, Jesus Christ. And the 27 books of the New Testament are known to us as the Word of God by apostolic authority, and these tell of his first coming, his life, death, resurrection, ascension, and reign. In this part, we define the source of our English translation of our Bible, and that being the received or majority text of Scripture, and not from unreliable manuscripts compiled by men such as Westcott and Hort in their so-called New Testament of 1881, or the Codex Vaticanus, or Codex Sinaiticus, the received text being that which was received as Scripture by the great reformers and Christian churches during the Reformation and since. It is noted that all English Bibles were translated from the received text before 1945, and modern versions are based upon the Westcott and Hort, Vaticanus and Sinaiticus, unreliable text. We admit to some minor corrections that may be necessary in our translation, but we have had many years to examine these and experience to make those corrections when necessary. We define these scriptures as the 39 books of the Old Testament, and they are the five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, sometimes called the Pentateuch, the historical books, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and the two books of Samuel, the two books of Kings, the two Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, the poetic books, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Songs of Solomon. The prophetic books, the larger prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, with the Lamentations, Ezekiel and Daniel, the latter prophets, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. And by the New Testaments, we understand the 27 books made up of the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the Acts of the Apostles, the 14 epistles of the Apostle Paul, one of James, two of Peter, three of John, one of Jude, and the Revelation. In this section, we outline the sum and substance of the life, death, resurrection, ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ. We also state that the New Testament writings were circulated in the churches during the Apostolic Age. We believe the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke, record the prophecy told by Jesus that foretold his second coming, the destruction of Jerusalem, the temple and the end of the rule of Moses and Jewish age called the Latter Days that John recorded the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God had given him and was circulated to the seven churches in Asia, that this revelation was written whilst the temple was still standing and so before the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, that the revelation told about the events shortly to take place and that the term Lord's Day is better rendered the Day of the Lord and describes the Day of Vengeance and the vindication of the blood of the martyrs. In this revelation, Jerusalem is called Mystery Babylon, the great mother of the harlots, the abomination of the earth, and her destruction was foretold by Moses. It tells also of the resurrection of the dead, of both the just and the unjust. We conclude by stating that we exclude all apocryphal books and writings, this includes all other writings claiming divine authority.